Prop area clear. Clear prop. All right, we got it. We got Foxtrot. So we can get rid of that. We'll go. Uh, let's, let's put ground in first. One two one point nine. We'll get rid of this. There you go. Um, so minus two is the current temperature in Celsius. Minus four is the dew point in Celsius. And you know when the temperature of the dew point hit, uh, that's when you had the potential for the air to be saturated. So you could have if the conditions are right, you could have fog. Uh, when the temperature and dew point meet, you got rain. Um, so that's why that's important. We've got a two degree spread right now, and obviously uh, we've got a fairly dry air mass over us. Uh, then the altimeter, 3012. I heard 3020. Did you? Well, let's listen to it again. Temperature minus two, two point minus four, altimeter 3012. Visual portion rate 27360 And uh, in fact, the altitude. Uh, matches the field elevation for 89 feet. So, yep. that's right. That's great. So, let's see. Oil's still coming up, but we can taxi. We'll taxi out to the north ramp. And go out to our favorite uh, intersection and make a call. Well, welcome aboard Jabiru 312. Papa Tango, everybody. I'm the pilot monitoring today. Dustin, is the pilot flying? Like it's going to be a beautiful day. Beautiful day, and the Jabiru, which is uh, which is Australian for stork. It's a light sport aircraft that we ferried home from Tucson, Arizona, uh, about a month and a half ago. Oh, look at that! The two state planes are lined up. Came in this morning. Governor Ron's going to be appearing at a Publix in uh, South Florida somewhere to talk vaccines. We'll hold right here. This is great. That one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so what but we're going to do? Oscar, we're going to well, with. Right. It's, it's going to be a little different call on this one. So we have information. Foxtrot. Uh, so it's going to be uh, Tallahassee Ground, Jabiru 312, Papa Tango on the north ramp with Foxtrot. BFR departure to Quincy at 2,000 feet. And ready to taxi. Tallahassee Ground, this is Jabiru in 312, Papa Tango at the north ramp with Foxtrot. BFR departure with, to Quincy at 2,000 feet. Back to him. Uh, he, he will get back to this. Departure frequency 135.8. Mission clock goes 5530. Want to read it back? Frequency 135.8. Uh, squawk at 5530. Two pop you just verify you're aware that the uh, runway at the Quincy Airport is closed. Yeah, if I'm aware of that, two pop thank you. Supervisor, right to taxi the We are ready to taxi. We have Fox Truck. Papa Tango runway 36 via Alpha. 36 via Alpha to Papa Tango. Yeah, the um, runway at Quincy is still closed, but we're going to use grass. I'm sure they would have had it done by now. It's uh, they're going to have it done mid-month, the month-long project. But of course, you know if they tell you it's going to be done in a month, uh, you you, you probably want to budget for two months. Uh, it's not going to be done till March. So we're going to call Tower and. Uh, We'll say Tower uh, Dapper 312 Papa Tango holding short 36 at Bravo, ready for departure. Uh, he's going to give us a takeoff clearance, uh, and then he'll tell us contact departure. Don't worry about that. All contact departure, you just find the airplane. Okay. So um, we're but gonna, we're 
Say, what are we saying one more time? Uh, well, we, we'll pull up to the hold short line. We'll say Tallahassee Tower, Jabiru 312, Papa Tango, holding short 36 at Bravo, ready for departure. Yeah. And remember the takeoff sequence, so we're going to uh, find the center line. You'll apply the power gradually. We'll hit 65 knots. That's our rotation speed, little gentle back pressure. And then you want to pitch for the initial climb at 75. 75. 75. We'll climb to 500 feet. We'll lose that notch of flaps, and then you can accelerate to a faster airspeed. But we don't want to get any faster than 80, because that's the top of the white arc, which is our flap extension range. Sure. Tower, this is Jabiru 312 Papa Tango, uh, looking for departure at runway 36 and Bravo. Tower 312 Papa Tango, Tallahassee Tower, runway 36, that runway heading, clear for takeoff. Thank you. Runway 36, clear for takeoff, runway heading. Runway 36, clear for takeoff. Do Papa Tango. Yeah, you'll get the hang of it. It probably can't hurt to always stay in everything you can do the Papa Tango. Well, yeah, so when you read back a clearance, you got to say your call sign. Yeah. And you can abbreviate it after the first contact. You can then abbreviate it and just say to Papa Tango. But, yeah, you do have to say it. Clear on final. Find that center line. You can get off the brake. We have 8,000 feet, so <laughs> yeah, just, like just take center. your hand off the brake. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, here we go. Find that center line, and remember, you're gonna need some rudder. More right rudder as the power comes in. More right rudder. Full power. Pushing that throttle all the way in. There you go. There's 65, rotate, back pressure. And we're pitching for 75, pitch up a little more. There you go, that's about right, looking at rear speed. And we'll climb to about 500 feet here. Good job. And go ahead and retract the flaps. There you go. A little sink there. And you yeah. can accelerate to, you know, we'll say we'll climb at 90 knots. How about that? I'll take that for you. Yeah, I was about to say yeah, that. Yeah, that's what. We'll something else out with that. Very nice. Nice takeoff. Thank you. I don't want to jinx it. Maybe I said that too soon. <laughs> and we're just going to fly the runway heading 360. Blowing around a little bit. Never two Papa Tango, contact departure. Contact departure, two Papa Tango. Now, as you depart, good morning. Jabiru 312, Papa Tango 900, climbing that 2000 runway. 312, Papa Tango, Calisty departure, radio contact. Turn left on course, climb to the for altitude. Left on course, Quincy up to 2000, two Papa Tango. Two Papa Tango, are you aware that Quincy Airport is a crash field only? Affirmative. Two Papa Tango, Roger. Yeah, we're aware of that. Uh, turn left to a heading of about 330. We'll just continue our climb to 2000. This is great. Well, it's a nice day to fly today. Very beautiful. It was, it was <laughs> a little breezy a couple days ago. I'm glad we didn't fly. I went up with somebody yesterday, and um, he got airsick, and we had to turn back early. Airsick? Had to call that lesson short, yeah. Like, wanted to throw up? Yeah. Yeah, luckily he didn't, but, uh, you know, and, and you'll have passengers, I'm sure, that get air sick. Uh, here's 2,000. Just knows it over a little bit. We'll let the airspeed accelerate. Uh, we're looking for about five fingers on the windscreen. That's when you know your level. Uh, the VSI shows a little bit of a, of a climb, but... And we've got plenty of airspeed now. Let's reduce power to 2,800 RPM. Now, is this Lake one? Yeah, no. it's Lake Talk one. Yep, yep. And at the end of the lake, of course, is the West Practice area. Can you see Quincy? Straight ahead? It is, yeah. The airport itself is right off the nose. Yeah. The town is a little bit to the left.
and they like they basically like us to get on this side of Lake Talbot before they uh, they allow us to change frequencies. Just so we're clear of their arrival and departure corridors over Tallahassee. We're going pretty fast at 105 knots. Relatively, you know. But we'll have to go for a flight in my Bonanza sometime. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll show you what fast is. <laughs> How fast does it get going? It's my flight, uh, flight plan for 145 true in my plane. Um, in the G36 Bonanza, I fly plan for 162. Wow. So, yeah. The Baron I fly, I fly plan for uh, 178. Wow. But of course, you're burning a lot more gas in the process. Approach that Jabber 312, Papa Tango, have Flipsy in sight. Cancel via far front, final lane at this time. I'm doing two miles. You know, rear search change, clock in far change, nice frequency approved, showing one aircraft about one mile northeast to Quincy Airport at 1,100. Roger, via far, two Papa Tango. How is it like flying into like Miami and Atlanta and stuff like that when there's just so much traffic? You know, I, I find it's easier. Really? Because it's controlled. You know, unlike, unlike this place, you could have airplanes in the pattern that don't even have radios in there. In there in the cockpit, so, you know, they're not talking at all. At least when you fly into, uh, say, Opalaka or a PDK, you're on with air traffic control. Turn right about 10, 15 degrees. We're, we we want to come in, just kind of allow maybe a couple miles of space here before we make our turn inbound. Well, we're still going to go in like this, right? Yeah, we are, but we but but you got to enter the traffic pattern, so we're going to, it's a left traffic pattern for runway 32. Oh. So, so to get aligned get reversed and aligned with the final approach course and to, and to do it in the standard traffic pattern way. Understood. We're just going to come in and cross midfield to enter the left downwind. Hey, quick the traffic out of Jabiru 312, Papa Tango, about to four miles down to the southeast, 2,000 feet. Inbound for landing, we'll be crossing midfield in our left downwind. Runway 32, grass, Quincy. Uh, you can begin reducing power now. We'll take the power back to 2,400 or so. It'll set up a nice little shallow descent, and uh, the pattern altitude here is about 1,200 feet. Are we going to go around? Yeah, so, so what we'll do is when we get a beam, the midpoint of the field, the one we're basically parallel to it, the space is great, then we'll, then we'll turn inbound, and we're going to cross over the midpoint of the runway. And then come back around and go in? Exactly, yeah. So And left-hand turns the entire time. This is a standard left-hand turn traffic pattern. Traffic patterns in uncontrolled airports are always left-hand turns unless otherwise noted, so... Um, and is there a reason you go over the airport versus past the airport? Uh, yeah, well, because you've got airplanes that are departing runway 32 as well. And so you don't want to cross over their upwind leg. For example, that Cessna could be taking off 32. Yeah. And if we were to go beyond the airport and then turn it down, You're we turned, would yeah. conflict with his departure path. And this power setting, 2300, is going to give us about the speed that we need uh, to fly the pattern, which is uh, 80, 80 knots. A little more nose-up trim, because we want to maintain level flight. Quincy traffic jab route 3, Papa Tango, crossing midfield in our left downwind. Full stop, 3-2 grass, Quincy. I said 3, Papa Tango. I meant 2, Papa Tango. A little more nose-up trim. There you go. Fly straight. Level the wings. There we go. Yeah, we, we, we can take our time coming around to join the downwind. Last thing you want to do is make a, a turn too steep onto downwind and all of a sudden you bump by the runway. Traffic landing, Quincy. Safe position, please. Entering left downwind for 3 2. One second. Hang a left onto the downwind here. Okay, fly straight. Here we are on the downwind. You can see the runway off to the left there. And a beam the threshold. And what, can, what's the threshold? Uh, well, basically right here, the, the start of the runway area uh -huh. environment. You can then apply 20 degrees of flaps and reduce power to 1,800 feet. 1,800 RPM, I should say. Let's get those flaps in, 20 degrees. There you go. Great. Down we come. Go ahead and turn. Uh, sure. Turn left base. 
take a left hand turn and just let the nose come down. But we, we want to have a have about a 500 foot per minute descent going on, which is what we have. So by straight. So here we are on the left base. So it's kind of like a rectangle, this traffic pattern yeah. thing. Quincy traffic, Jabra 2, Papa Tango on the left base, full stop, 3-2, grass, Quincy. Cessna 3 Zulu Alpha is with Cessna 172, we're uh, in the grass, uh, holding short of the runway on the uh, north edge. Got him in sight. Just keep our descent coming. We're fun. Airspeed is great. And you want to have your left hand on the throttle. Okay. So 65 knots is what we want in the airspeed department. And just point the nose kind of at that, uh, just beyond that tree there. I know it's kind of difficult because we don't have any numbers on the grass that we're aiming for, but good job. Quincy traffic jab, route 2, Papa Tango on short, final full stop, 3 2, grass, Quincy. Okay, now get the nose down, point the nose of the grass there, here you go. Everything's on the money, looking good. How about full flaps? <laughs> Power to idle. <laughs> And down we come. It's kind of an unusual sight picture, but this is great. I'll tell you when to level off. You're fine. This is terrific. <laughs> level off right here. What do you mean level off? Take it, take it. Woo! <laughs> all right. We kind of touched down a little bit nose wheel first, but that was very nice. That was all you, Dustin. Ah, wow. I was sitting there anticipating you to Just at the very end there, we just needed a little burst of power uh, to allow us to touch down to the mains first. Otherwise, it's going to touch down nose wheel first, which is what happened. But that hey, felt really good. That, that was that was impressive. I think that would, would have been a little hard on asphalt, but the fact that we landed on grass was great. How about we get some gas? We can do a couple more of these. Yeah. Now, Quincy traffic, Jeffrey, you pop the tango now, clear of the grass. Taxi to the pump. I bet this is a nice uh, airport to practice. Yeah, it is. Well, it's uncontrolled, which is nice. <laughs> 